Right, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be plywood in the walls of the van, trying to do the ceiling, what we can get done today. We've got another couple of sheets in another van. As you can see, the weather's not so great today. We've got a little shelter up above. And all right, let's crack on. Right, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to start off down the bottom and work my way to the top and further down the van. So all we're going to do first is measure from the front of the van to the first bracket, what is 174 by 58, 174 by 58. And then what we're going to do later on is make a nice little frame for this window box it in just so it looks a bit more better then we can have a nice curtain for when we sleep at night. What we are going to have to do is cut the plywood in the van as it is raining outside but hopefully it stops raining so we can cut the plywood outside but hopefully it shouldn't be too difficult. Mm -hmm. Now this is all in place, what I'm going to be using is some 30mm self drilling screws. What I've done is I've marked out where I need to screw it. I'm just going to screw it all in place and then work our way down the van, eventually get one side done, get the second side done and then we'll move on to the roof. that's all screwed on what we're going to do now is we're going to do the top half all the way across to that bit there what we also need to do is run the copex through for when we put in our wiring for our lights right now what we want to do is measure the width what is do you want to leave space so you can put your plywood on your roof as well It's 30 centimetres, 30 centimetres, 30 centimetres. Then what you want to do, find out your length. Two point four. Now what we're going to do is do 30 by 2.4 along and stick it to the metal frame. Right, what I'm going to do, as it's quite windy outside, I'm not going to film myself cutting it. I'm just going to time lapse it inside and come back to you when that side's done then we'll move on to that side. Right, now what we've got to do is start screwing this panel onto the metal and then carry on working our way down. As you can see, We've popped it all the way through. Now what we're going to do is get our next one just to cover up this little bit here. Right, 
right, now as we've cut that one to size already, we're going to drill that one in. As you see, we've got the spacers. It is a little bit rough of an off cut, but once you've got your bed straps on it, it should be all right. need to do is put some insulation behind the walls just so it gives it a bit more warmth during the winter. Now as we've got all that side ply lined, we've got to move on to this side and get this side done. Right, let's crack on. day two of ply lining for walls and the roof. Yesterday we got all the walls done, now today we're going to move on to a roof. So hopefully it's going to be a good one. As you can see we ply lined that side yesterday and that side. Now we're going to move on to the roof. Right now what we need to do is get our last of our vapor barrier and finish off doing it at the back and run the maxi air fan. Then what we need to do is get our 2 by one button, do it width ways across, so then we can screw our plywood to it. Then what we're going to do is get our down lights and put them all in the plywood. Let's crack on. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get our 2 by one button but instead of going width ways, we're going to go length ways. What I've already done is cut my button to size. I've got three lengths at three metres. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the button, screw it into the metal joist up here, do one, two, three, and then screw all the plywood into the button and hopefully that should make a nice flush surface. we've done that one we need to do one to about here just before the maxi air fan then we've got to apply line all this then we're going to put our down lights in and then we're going to do the other half all right now we're going to get our plywood and stick it to this It needs to stop raining. So what we're going to have to do is do it in two sections. We're going to cut the plywood in half and do it in two sections as it's hard to stick up by yourself. So all I'm going to do is get the tape measure, measure how long it is. 2.2, .2, so we're going to do two at one one. by 
one twenty wide. Right, now we just need to get our jigsaw, cut a straight line, we'll go to inside the van as it's pissing and all rain outside. That's one sheet, now we just need to do another one at 1-1 one, one, and then screw into the roof. Right, now what we're going to do is take the plywood to the roof. So, I've got six chrome down lights i got them off amazon i think they're about 25 pound for six and then we're just going to do them in between the joists we're going to do two at the front two in the middle two at black we're going to be using a core drill bit i think it's 54 mil and all we're going to do is slot them, out, slot them in and plug them in to a 12 volt socket and see if they work right all i've done is i've marked out where i roughly want it i've done 29 mil, 29 mil from each side and 84 across. So now all I'm going to do is get the core bit and start drilling. Brilliant. And it pops out just like that. Then we'll do the other one on the other side and pop the downlight in. So all we do now is Pop our wire through and see if our down light fits in. Just like that. It fits in. Right, as you see, we've got them two down lights in. Now all we need to do is do two more, one there and one the other side. Right. Now the front half of the van's all done, what we've got to do now is move on to the rear half. But what we had the other day, we had a leak coming from the Maxi Air fan. So I've taken it all out, resealed it all. We've just got to wait to see if it rains and see if it leaks anymore. So what we've got to do is leave that open and move on to boxing in our wheel arches. Right, what we've got to do now is box in this arch. I've already cut all my pieces to size. So what we're going to do is start screwing them all together. We screwed all our template together. I already cut my plywood to size, so all we do need to do now is screw all our plywood into the timber, screw it all together, and then that will be our another wheel arch done. Then we'll move on to the other side. Then another day we'll come back to make sure the roof's not leaking and finish off plywood and the roof. got both the wheel arches done they're all plywood they're all sealed what we're going to do now is move on to a roof another day just because I'm still not sure if it's leaking we're going to come back tomorrow and lay the floor with washed oak out Joe and right I'll catch you guys in the next video <laughs>